I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. So have y'all seen the new Elvis movie? I saw it and I've been in an Elvis kind of state of mind ever since. While they were rolling the credits, I was ready to jump up out of my seat and drive to Graceland. It's peach season, y'all, and I am ready to do some cooking. The smell that I'm getting off of these peaches right now is just about enough to make me crazy. In the coming weeks, I'm going to make at least a couple videos using my fresh peaches. Now, I've never heard it discussed, but I'd be willing to bet Elvis was probably a fan of some peach cobbler. That's where I'm going to start today. I'm going to start out today with 3.7 pounds of ripe southern peaches. First thing I'm going to do is get these washed up. You're definitely going to be getting your hands into this, so make sure they're nice and clean before you get started. This is how I get started. I like to use a paring knife to get all of the skin off. You'll want to make sure that you've got all of the pieces of pit residue out of the peach before you put it in your bowl. If you're not sure, you can always run your finger in there and if you feel the little hard pieces of pit, that needs to be trimmed out. Cutting up and cleaning these peach pieces is a pretty labor intensive job. So let me take care of that and I'll be back. I'm not gonna lie to you, turning that plate of peaches into this is a lot of work, but I think you'll find it's worth it. I'm going to add my cut and cleaned peaches to a Dutch oven. I'll add five cups of sugar, one fourth cup all-purpose flour, and one half teaspoon ground nutmeg. If you're not a fan of nutmeg, you can replace this ingredient with half a teaspoon cinnamon. I'm going to mix all of this together and then I'm going to set this aside for a little while to let a syrup begin to form. Now would be a great time to go hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. We'd love to have you as part of our crazy TMJ family. After sitting on the stove for 20 minutes or so, this has started to form a nice syrup. So we're going to go ahead, give it a good stir, and get some heat on this. Once you start working this mixture, use your spatula or your spurtle to just chop up any pieces that you see that are a little bit too big. I'm going to continue heating and cutting up the big pieces of peach until this reaches a boil. Once this mixture starts to boil, I'm going to let it go for maybe four or five minutes and then I'm going to reduce the heat. My objective here is softening the peaches and thickening the mixture. During the time these peaches are boiling, you want to make sure to keep moving them so they don't scorch. My peaches have been boiling for about five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce my heat to a medium low. For this particular cobbler, I'm going to be working with a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees, and I've got about six tablespoons of butter in my pan. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and let the butter start to melt. My peaches have been slow simmering now for about 10 minutes, and it looks like the texture of the peaches is just the way I want it. So I'm going to remove this from the heat, add about half a stick of butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
I want this all the way off the heat. While we're waiting for the butter to melt, let's start getting our dough mixture ready. We'll use one cup Bisquick or other baking mix, one cup sugar, and one cup milk. We'll mix with a wire whisk until everything is well blended. Our butter's melted. I'm going to carefully pour this batter over the butter. The butter in our peach mixture has melted, and I want to show you what that looks like. This mixture is beautiful, but it's boiling hot, so be careful. Now we're going to carefully start spooning this peach mixture into our dough. We don't want to blend this. We just kind of want the peach mixture to lay on top of the dough. But we're not going to stir it. There's enough peaches here for two square cobblers. If you end up doing it like that, go ahead and make the three cup dough mixture twice, one for each cobbler. If you've seen me make cobbler before, then you know my secret weapon is this large grain turbinado sugar that I'm gonna put on the top of this before it goes in the oven. We're just going to carefully sprinkle that over the entire top of our cobbler. Don't be shy with it, use plenty. Make sure to get it around your edges and corners because that's going to give you the most incredible crunch. I've made an incredible mess here, but this is ready to go in the oven. I like to bake my cobbler for about 50 minutes. You want to be sure that your dough is golden brown. This cobbler comes out of the oven bubbling crazy hot. You're going to want to let it sit for 20 or 30 minutes before you're ready to serve it. It'll still be warm, but it won't be scary hot, and it gives it time to thicken up a little bit. I've got myself a bowl. Now let's give this a try. While you and everybody else in the world is putting ice cream on this, I'm going to serve it the way my mom served it. I'm going to pour some cream on top. Cobbler a la Dolly. It looks good. Holy moly. Yo, that's some good cobbler right there. Do not skip the turbinado sugar on top. I'm going to give you the TMJ guarantee. You will love this peach cobbler. You're going to see more fresh peach recipes coming up soon. I can pretty much guarantee peach ice cream. I truly hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Don't forget to tune in on Thursday. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some music, and just keep jamming.